In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the scale modify command in Autodesk Inventor. So the modify commands can be found on our sketch tab. And at the top of the ribbon here, we have a section called modify. And the scale button can be found in the top right hand corner of our modify panel here. So I'm going to left click on scale to activate it. And the first thing we have to do is select the shape that we're trying to scale here. So just make sure that the select button is blue, otherwise you won't be able to pick anything on your screen. And then go ahead and grab everything that it is you want to scale all at once. Make sure it goes blue on your screen, otherwise it's not selected. The next thing we have to do is choose a base point. So I come over to my little scale box here and I click on the arrow beside base point to activate that. Now the base point is the point that will not move kind of, it'll be the point that everything's scaled away from. So if you're scaling smaller, then your whole shape will move in towards that base point. If you're scaling larger, then everything will move away from that base point. So your base point does matter because that's the direction in which your shape will grow or shrink. So my base point is going to be the center point of my sketch here. And I'm getting a little pop up here. Existing, dim existing dimensions placed on the geometry may restrict the intended operation. So what does that mean? It means my rectangle already has two dimensions on here, one inch by two inches. And this is saying that those dimensions might stop the scale button from actually scaling my rectangle. Because remember, scaling means these dimensions are going to change. It's saying, should these dimensions be relaxed if necessary? So it's asking, can it change these dimensions, which is exactly what I want. So I'm going to say yes. Now, if I move my mouse in and out, you can see my rectangle get bigger or smaller, depending if I get closer or farther from my base point. You'll see my dimensions are driven dimensions, and they're now changing as I move my rectangle around. So I could just click randomly on my screen and scale this totally randomly um, to whatever driven dimensions it is that I want by eyeballing it. Or we can type in what's called a scale factor. A scale factor is a percentage in decimals of how big or small you want your shape to be. So my original rectangle was one inch by two inches. If I wanted my rectangle to be one half of an inch by one inch, so half the size of my original one, I would type in a scale factor of 0 0.5 because 0 0.5 is 50% of the original size or half of the original size. And you can see that the preview was updated there as I type that in and my rectangle is showing up as 0 0.5 by one. Now, if I want my rectangle to be twice the original size, so that's 200%, I would type in a scale factor of two. And if I zoom out here, you'll see that the preview shows me that, okay, a scale factor of two will give me a rectangle that's going to be two inches by four inches, which is twice the original one by two inch rectangle that I, what I had. So that's how scale factor works. It's a percentage in decimals. So a scale factor larger than one will give me a bigger um, shape than what I originally had. A scale factor smaller than one will give me a shape smaller than what I originally had. And a scale factor of one, which is 100%, will give me a shape that's exactly the same size as my original rectangle because it's 100% of its original size. So I'm going to go with a scale factor of 2.25, that's 225%, and I'm going to hit apply. Hit done. And here we have my updated rectangle. You can see I can still change these dimensions. These are not driven or reference dimensions once I hit that apply button. So I can still come in here and modify my sketch as needed, but it has been scaled to 225% of its original size. So that's how we use the scale modify command in Inventor.